With over 20 years in the renewable energy industry, GSES is proud to release our first product. For a number of years, solar power has been plagued with molar Laplacian conversion losses due to amorphous Boolean transistors. This restricts the supply of inverse reactive current to unilateral Gaussian dingo foils and increases the modulus of similitude. Thus, we have not had a device able to metronomically synchronize polar grammeters until now. Such a device is the turbo invertilator. Now, basically, the only new principle involved is that instead of power being transformed by the capacitive attenuation from the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's produced by the ionic defibrillation from magneto-reluctance and capacitive directance. The prototype has a base plate of confabulated unobtainium, surmounted by a malleable pandemic casing in such a way that the two heliospheric relays are in a direct line with the toroidal spladal. The latter consists simply of nine cascaded recombinators so fitted to the ambifacient lunar goose shaft that conjunctulation was effectively prevented. The main winding is of the normal lotus o delta type, placed in epidermic semi boloid slots of the stator, with every seventh cryofarad being doped by a fluxgate magnometer to differential Vandenberg spools on the inside of the Mobius strip. The turbo invertilator operates with a high level of quiescence and has been successfully used in the operation of Novertrunians. Calibrated using both LIDAR and TRUTHDAR, the helical chamfers prove that transvalence is an essential component of future technology. The proven reduction in oscilloscopic drainage is also a plasmatic benefit, reducing signal noise by up to 13 hexadecibels. It's not cheap, but I'm sure the government will buy it.